Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Looks like we have some change coming in the form of a cold front, and that change involves showers, maybe some thunderstorms, and cooler temperatures. Take a look at the uh, forecast on through the middle part of the week with, yep, that cold front coming through Wednesday evening, anywhere from 6 to 9 o'clock, and again, promising to kick up some showers, some thunderstorms, and usher in cooler air. Lingering showers behind the front on into early Thursday, and then all of it tapering off to pretty much just cloudy to mostly cloudy skies Friday through Sunday. Uh, future cast shows the overall storm system moving east, taking the snows that it's generating over the uh, western Great Lakes and the upper Midwest on off and away, as well the southern end of the whole thing is going to drop on down through the Rio Grande Valley. At one point, this storm system will stretch from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, on down to, well, the Rio Grande Valley. So that's a pretty big storm system. Uh, future cast shows how the tail end is going to pass through as we move through the day Wednesday. See, showers and thunder showers increasing on ahead of the front through 6 p.m. and then 9 p.m. And by midnight should be to our south, but lingering showers behind the front on through the night into Thursday morning. The second half of the story is just as important, and that is the cooler air filtering down from the north, leaving our daytime highs significantly lower. We've been dealing with daytime highs in the mid to upper 80s, and you can see Wednesday, for the most part, should be no exception on ahead of the front. But then by Thursday, the front will have passed the cooler air filtering on down. Daytime highs, well, 67 to 69 degrees across much of the valley. Overrunning moisture by Friday and Saturday. In other words, moisture streaming in from the mid-levels across from Mexico should keep us mostly cloudy well into the weekend. Seven-day forecast shows you another shot at showers Monday of next week. Otherwise, we'll just be looking forward to some really comfortable fall-like weather after a decent dose of showers Wednesday afternoon to evening. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.